1922, Bunyan of Wright produced the first edition in the book form of the greatest poem of the 20th century, T.S. Eliot's The Wasteland. And this is a copy of the very first issue of that first edition. Um, the, book, the poem had actually originally been uh, printed in uh, Eliot's magazine, The Criterion, in October of 22. It then got printed in The Dial, which was Schofield Thayer's sort of version of The Criterion, an American publication. And it, it, it won the award, the, the poetry award of that year, as is proclaimed on the, on the, blurb of the, on the front of the dust jacket, just, um, just here. Winner of the Dial's 1922 award. The prize wasn't money, but it was to have the book printed. Because it was so late in the year, um, I think it was rushed out. And it led to two things uh, being printed. Let me, let me just show you the colophon of the book, which is the bit that tells you about how many copies were printed, if at all. And, and here we are. So it says, this is great. So, uh, of the 1,000 copies printed of The Wasteland, uh, this volume is number 227. Importantly, it's in the first 500 copies. Okay, and do you see how the lettering is a little bit too big? It's hand stamped, and it's a little bit too big for the the space available. The second five hundred or so, they reduce it to two two millimeters, and it fits much nicely. There's the date of nineteen twenty two. Re, it was reprinted in 2,000 copies in 1923, and people often get that confused with what is called the second issue. Now let me just show you what makes this particular copy very very special indeed. Um, it was printed. 1,000 sets of the sheets, but they weren't all bound up. Let me just get this off. So, this is black cloth, it's very thin boards. It's actually, and just bear with me, it's just flexible, you can just bend it just a little bit. The second 500 is much stiffer, much more like a regular book. This piece of glassine, which should be on all copies, interestingly comes under the printed dust jacket. It's always made me think that actually, the book was going to be issued without dust jacket. It was not uncommon just after the, the Great War that books didn't have printed dust jackets. And I think in this case, they, they were just going to sustain it. It would have looked after the cloth, they could have sold the book, and they're gone. However, they managed to get the printed dust jacket out. Here it is. Um, and they issued the whole thing as one. What you therefore have here is a first edition, uh, first issue, in the, the right cloth. You see printed on the upper panel of the dust jacket it is the lozenge with, with the information that it was the winner of the, the Dust 1922 Award for Poetry. Um, and um, if you can see, the, the, it has the full point at the end of both uh, paragraphs. As a tell, and there are the other differences, the reprint of this book, which is the 1923 printing, it, doesn't, it lacks one of the, one of the dots. It, it's also a slightly different setting, but it's very important that, 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 that it has both dots. It's a, it's a very important aspect of this, this book if you're collecting it. And then just one more example how this particular copy, fresh as it is, complete with the glassine as it is, in the correct binding as it is from the first 500, it's just one of those copies about which there are no apologies at all. And uh, you'll find more information about it, actually, and other TSL books on the Peter Herring website.